I'm talking to you about a man who I believe was probably sent to me by my grandmother Wai Manari to teach me a way to I said do not mention facts again. She is possessed by a strong demon that does not want her to settle down. How you managed to deceive me all this while is what I cannot explain. You want to kill me with Okwadu because I fell in love with the maiden from Adabowole. I would rather die by my father's hand than leave that maiden. That is not a nice thing to say to a friend that has been there for you all this and years. And messes it up with a destructive gossip. How can my father be this wicked and callous? To think you did that to that innocent woman and you had the gods to deny me my happiness? Any man who defies a maiden of this land has resurrected the warrior in me. with my child, my daughter, or anybody related to me have anything to do with Umwezu people. I don't mean, man. It is my life, so allow me mess it up. You cannot stop me. A rapist must always beget a rapist. Ever bring that maiden into my court again. I love this maiden. I will never stop seeing her because she has become a core part of my life. Aboma does not want you. Your presence in Aboma's life has caused her nothing but heartache and disunity with her parents. When did I When did I What happened? It is too short. I will stay here until you... Until when? Until when your mother dies of heartbreak. Aboma's mother is dying. And she came to you to ask you the whereabouts of her daughter and you denied it. Pour the gates of brass. The bars of iron. And destroy the women that are planning to destroy me. I regret coming out from the loins. Now I have the stigma of the son of a rapist hanging on my neck forever. 